modern American consumers are spectacularly spoiled in many ways. We don't mean to be critical, because the ability to obtain almost anything you want at any time is quite impressive. However, the widespread and consistent availability of so many products and services has created the expectation that those items will always be available. As a result, even minor inconveniences can cause stress and panic, especially when it comes to our food, food scarcity has always been an unfortunate aspect of life. However, prior to the toilet paper shortage that coincided with the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, many Americans had been spared from many seemingly random occurrences of sparsely stocked shelves. Of course, two years later, shortages at the supermarket have become much more common. And, with the pandemic still lingering, climate change worsening, and the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, which began in February 2022, anyone hoping for a reprieve from food shortages in 2023 should not hold their breath. We'd love to declare that abundant and affordable food products await us in 2023, however, the reality of the world situation necessitates pragmatism rather than reckless optimism. While there is no guarantee that any potential issues will occur, the available evidence provides hints as to what to expect. With that in mind, here's what we know about potential food shortages in 2023, 1.Bread, few foods capture the essence of staples like bread. After all, there's a reason why Massachusetts residents routinely stock up on bread and milk ahead of a nor'easter winter storm, via patch. However, with no end in sight to the 2022 Russia-Ukraine war, between two nations that account for nearly 20% of global cereal grain production, according to the Brookings Institution, many bakeries and factories may struggle to obtain the necessary ingredients to make bread, potentially leading to a shortage in 2023. According to CBS News, many bakeries across the United States are already feeling the strain of dwindling breadmaking supplies by May 2022. As a result, the basic economic principles of supply and demand, in which higher demand amid lower supply leads to higher consumer costs, have already resulted in a nationwide increase in bread prices, given the ongoing conflict in Eastern Europe, the diminished stock of basic components for bread production is unlikely to replenish before the new year. An agreement reached between Ukraine and Russia allows agricultural exports from the Black Sea to resume in July 2022. Via Business Insider However, as long as the war continues, cereal grain production in the region will suffer. Is there any reason for the average person to be interested in how and where vegetable oil is produced? Sure, the fact that it's typically made from oilseed crops like soybeans, sunflowers, and canola is interesting, but it's far from necessary knowledge. However, knowing that Ukraine and Russia grow and harvest a large portion of those oilseeds, including more than 70% of global sunflower seed and oil production in 2020 via Brookings Institution, will help you understand why a potential vegetable oil shortage is likely in 2023. Perhaps you've never considered the origins of many of the foods you consume, vegetable oil foremost among them. However, as the old Cinderella song goes, you don't know what you got until it's gone. So, if there is a vegetable oil shortage in 2023, perhaps a greater interest in oil seeds will emerge. Corn, we're not trying to be corny, but corn has a special place in our hearts. According to Healthline, the enormously versatile food item can be classified as a vegetable, grain, or fruit at various times. Regardless of the format, corn is almost always guaranteed to provide an exquisitely delightful experience when consumed. And, given our love of all things corn, we were disappointed to learn that, according to the USDA, less corn was planted in 2022 than the previous year. A smaller crop planting batch means a lower overall yield, which could lead to a corn shortage in 2023. The smaller crop of corn does not necessarily mean that corn-based products will disappear from store shelves next year, however, as one agricultural investor told Successful Farming in May 2022, a reduced corn harvest means the world will be facing relatively high food prices for an extended period. On a more upbeat note, agricultural policy experts at the University of Missouri released a 2022 study that predicts corn prices will eventually fall. The analysis, however, does little to help consumers in 2023 because the overall cost drop isn't expected to occur until 2024 at the earliest. We don't want to dampen the spirits of any funny girl fans out there, but the sun isn't a ball of butter. But if only it were that simple. 
That would go a long way toward alleviating the looming butter shortage predicted for the 2022 holiday baking season. Of course, clarifying a metaphorical song lyric doesn't alleviate the larger concern about a butter shortage at the end of 2022, particularly the possibility that it will extend into 2023. You may have noticed the rising price of butter at your local grocery store in the midst of crushing inflation levels in 2022. Corn, we're not trying to be corny, but corn has a special place in our hearts. According to Healthline, the enormously versatile food item can be classified as a vegetable, grain, or fruit at various times. Regardless of the format, corn is almost always guaranteed to provide an exquisitely delightful experience when consumed. And, given our love of all things corn, we were disappointed to learn that, according to the USDA, less corn was planted in 2022 than the previous year. A smaller crop planting batch means a lower overall yield which could lead to a corn shortage in 2023. The smaller crop of corn does not necessarily mean that corn-based products will disappear from store shelves next year, however, as one agricultural investor told Successful Farming in May 2022, a reduced corn harvest means the world will be facing relatively high food prices for an extended period. On a more upbeat note, agricultural policy experts at the University of Missouri released a 2022 study that predicts corn prices will eventually fall. The analysis, however, does little to help consumers in 2023 because the overall cost drop isn't expected to occur until 2024 at the earliest, we don't want to dampen the spirits of any funny girl fans out there, but the sun isn't a ball of butter. But if only it were that simple. That would go a long way toward alleviating the looming butter shortage predicted for the 2022 holiday baking season. Of course, clarifying a metaphorical song lyric doesn't alleviate the larger concern about a butter shortage at the end of 2022, particularly the possibility that it will extend into 2023. You may have noticed the rising price of butter at your local grocery store in the midst of crushing inflation levels in 2022. According to Farmers Advance, a slight increase in overall milk production for 2023 is expected, which will help replenish butter stocks as the year progresses. However, while supply is expected to be greater than in 2022, the expected 2023 price for butter is still 65 cents higher than in 2021, implying that stores will remain somewhat depleted. Furthermore, because the supply issues this holiday season are likely to last into early next year, the best course of action may be to plan for a butter shortage for at least part of 2023. Hershey Candy, if you were hoping that the Halloween and Christmas candy shortages predicted by Hershey's in 2022 would end with the holidays, we're not so sure. Sure, the chocolate company claims it has taken steps to address the expected shortage of candy offerings this holiday season, and it has assured the public that the problems will not persist. However, because the primary causes of supply chain issues leading to ingredient scarcity, namely the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war, we're planning for a potential Hershey candy shortage around the holidays in 2023 as well. If you were hoping that the Halloween and Christmas candy shortages predicted by Hershey's in 2022 would end with the holidays, we're not so sure. Sure, the chocolate company claims it has taken steps to address the expected shortage of candy offerings this holiday season, and it has assured the public that the problems will not persist. However, because the primary causes of supply chain issues leading to ingredient scarcity, Namely the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war, we're planning for a potential Hershey candy shortage around the holidays in 2023 as well. In August 2022, Hershey told Food Dive that it expected the holiday candy shortage to be resolved in the future. As a result, our pessimistic forecast for a potential problem in 2023 may be overly harsh. But we're still hesitant to take the company's word for it, and we'd rather be safe than sorry, especially since Hershey notes that consumer demand for its candy has increased in recent years, at the very least, the holiday candy shortage appears to be a Hershey's issue rather than an industry-wide issue. To be honest, there's some comfort in knowing that there won't be any holiday shortages of MMs or Butterfingers, Champagne, Champagne connoisseurs may be surprised to learn that it is on the list of potential food shortages for 2023. After all, there is already a global shortage of champagne, which began during the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, according to wine enthusiast. We wish we could say otherwise, but the chances of champagne, as in real champagne from France's Champagne region, remaining scarce in 2023 are higher than not. 
the Comite Interprofessional du Vin de Champagne (CIVC), which oversees champagne production in France, does not help the cause. After all, the trade organization limits the amount of champagne that can be produced each year, including a 25% reduction in total production in 2020 compared to 2019 following the start of the pandemic. Via wine enthusiast. Given the time and effort required to produce authentic champagne, the SIP's 2020 reduction mandate continues to stifle availability in the United States. But it's not just the 2020 CIVC decision that's causing problems, climate change is also threatening champagne grapes in 2021. A rash of extreme weather that year caused a devastating number of crops to grow fungus, resulting in a lower-than-average crop yield via Reuters. While vineyard owners were optimistic about the great potential of 2022. The backlog of issues related to champagne shortage means it's unlikely the bubbly beverage will be overflowing anytime soon. Tomatoes, California produces an almost incomprehensible amount of food in the United States. According to the California Department of Food and Agriculture, by 2021, the state will have grown more than a third of the nation's vegetables, as well as 75% of the nation's fruits and nuts. As a result, a drought there is likely to have a disproportionate impact on the rest of the country's food supply. In other words, if we face a tomato shortage in 2023, we can blame it on California's prolonged drought, via Fox Business. It's not exactly surprising that a state that is currently experiencing the driest three-year stretch in its recorded history has seen its farm industry suffer greatly via Los Angeles Times, given the prolonged period of excessive dryness in California. More than half of the state remains in an extreme or exceptional drought as of October 2022, according to the U. S. Strout Monitor, the odds of a tomato shortage in 2023 are extremely high because tomatoes are used in so many popular dishes and beverages, the threat of a tomato shortage in 2023 cannot be overstated. Fortunately, for some, a Kraft Heinz spokesperson told Fox Business in October 2022 that the food company did not anticipate any problems with its production of ketchup or other tomato-centric products in the near future. Flour, flour is the most important ingredient in bread dough. This essential ingredient is made from cereal grains, most commonly wheat, via Institute of Culinary Education. Because nearly one-fifth of the world's cereal grain is grown in Ukraine and Russia, via Brookings Institution, where a war is still raging as of October 2022. It's only natural to conclude a flour shortage may be coming in 2023. But it's not just the conflict between Ukraine and Russia that's inching the world towards a flour shortage. The increasingly detrimental impact of climate change may lead to a reduction in wheat crop yields as well, as it has done in the past, via the conversation. This could only serve to lower the amount of available flour in 2023 and beyond, since flour isn't used solely in bread production, it merits inclusion on this list as its own individual item. Because, frankly, the fallout from a flour shortage wouldn't be limited to a lack of available bread it would cause a potential reduction in all baked goods, beef, it is critical to remember that a food shortage does not automatically imply that food will not be available for purchase. When customers experience sticker shock at their local supermarket, they frequently notice a shortage. Unfortunately, the widespread instances of skyrocketing food prices are unlikely to change much in 2023, particularly when it comes to beef. And, with a sharp drop in beef production expected in the second half of this year, you can expect a batch of burgers or steaks to put a dent in your wallet soon, a beef shortage may be the easiest to predict of all the potential food shortages that may occur in 2023. According to Restaurant Dive, industry insiders were already anticipating a 15% increase in beef prices in September 2022, after a drought forced many farmers to sell their cattle earlier than expected this year. As a result, according to ranch owner Wesley Ratcliffe, some farmers were forced to sell female cows before they could have a new baby, which will inevitably reduce the number of available cows for slaughter in the near future until the herds can be replenished over time. People with carnivorous cravings may find it difficult to satisfy their cravings with beef in 2023. However, domestic production of pork, chicken, and turkey increased in 2022. It's only natural to conclude a flour shortage may be coming in 2023. But it's not just the conflict between Ukraine and Russia that's inching the world towards a flour shortage. The increasingly detrimental impact of climate change may lead to a reduction in wheat crop yields as well, as it has done in the past, via the conversation.
This could only serve to lower the amount of available flour in 2023 and beyond, since flour isn't used solely in bread production, it merits inclusion on this list as its own individual item. Because, frankly, the fallout from a flour shortage wouldn't be limited to a lack of available bread it would cause a potential reduction in all baked goods, beef, it is critical to remember that a food shortage does not automatically imply that food will not be available for purchase. When customers experience sticker shock at their local supermarket, they frequently notice a shortage. Unfortunately, the widespread instances of skyrocketing food prices are unlikely to change much in 2023 particularly when it comes to beef. And, with a sharp drop in beef production expected in the second half of this year, you can expect a batch of burgers or steaks to put a dent in your wallet soon, a beef shortage may be the easiest to predict of all the potential food shortages that may occur in 2023. According to Restaurant Dive, industry insiders were already anticipating a 15% increase in beef prices in September 2022, after a drought forced many farmers to sell their cattle earlier than expected this year. As a result, according to ranch owner Wesley Ratcliffe, some farmers were forced to sell female cows before they could have a new baby, which will inevitably reduce the number of available cows for slaughter in the near future until the herds can be replenished over time. People with carnivorous cravings may find it difficult to satisfy their cravings with beef in 2023. However, domestic production of pork, chicken, and turkey increased in 2022. Aluminum canned goods a lack of readily available raw materials usually foreshadows a shortage of a specific type of processed food. But what if the materials required to make the actual container that holds a food product are unavailable? You might find out in 2023. Due to an ongoing global aluminum shortage caused by a significant increase in demand, consumers may face a shortage of several food and beverage products typically packaged and sold in aluminum cans in 2022. Via Click Orlando Come. Now, if there's a silver lining to be had when it comes to the aluminum shortage, it's the fact that fairly few food items are still packed in aluminum cans these days. According to Scientific American, many modern food cans are actually composed of steel. However, aluminum is still used in the production of many beverages, including beer and soda. And a possible shortage of canned beverages is nothing to sneeze at. Furthermore, because aluminum is still commonly used as a laminate lining for many canned food products, according to the Institute of Food Technologies, it's better to plan for a possible shortage of certain aluminum canned foods in 2023 than not farm-grown produce, while this list has already highlighted specific fruits and vegetables that may face a potential shortage in 2023, the unfortunate truth is that others may follow them. After all, between climate change and a global fertilizer shortage, via Business Insider, there's a better-than-average chance that we'll run out of farm-grown fruits and vegetables by 2023, the cause of the world's severe fertilizer shortage. As well as many other potential supply shortage issues facing us in 2023, is simple to identify, the Ukraine-Russia war, after all, Russia is one of the world's largest producers of all three major fertilizer types, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, and its current military conflict has reduced its fertilizer exports. Modern American consumers are spectacularly spoiled in many ways. We don't mean to be critical, because the ability to obtain almost anything you want at any time is quite impressive. However, the widespread and consistent availability of so many products and services has created the expectation that those items will always be available. As a result, even minor inconveniences can cause stress and panic, especially when it comes to our food, food scarcity has always been an unfortunate aspect of life. However, prior to the toilet paper shortage that coincided with the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, many Americans had been spared from many seemingly random occurrences of sparsely stocked shelves. Of course, two years later, shortages at the supermarket have become much more common. And, with the pandemic still lingering, climate change worsening, and the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, which began in February 2022, anyone hoping for a reprieve from food shortages in 2023 should not hold their breath. We'd love to declare that abundant and affordable food products await us in 2023, however, the reality of the world situation necessitates pragmatism rather than reckless optimism. While there is no guarantee that any potential issues will occur, the available evidence provides hints as to what to expect. With that in mind, 
Here's what we know about potential food shortages in 2023, 1.Bread, few foods capture the essence of staples like bread. After all, there's a reason why Massachusetts residents routinely stock up on bread and milk ahead of a nor'easter winter storm, via patch. However, with no end in sight to the 2022 Russia-Ukraine war, between two nations that account for nearly 20% of global cereal grain production, according to the Brookings Institution, many bakeries and factories may struggle to obtain the necessary ingredients to make bread, potentially leading to a shortage in 2023. However, it isn't just a lack of fertilizer that has had a negative impact on farm-grown produce. According to Fox Business, a continuous drought in the western United States has resulted in significantly fewer crops grown than expected, reducing the future supply of tomatoes, onions, and garlic, among other crops, beer. Clearly, we don't expect much relief from food shortages in 2023. But, hey, you can always drown your sorrows with a cold beer, right? If that's your intention, please don't blame the messenger. While the desire for an ice-cold brewski in 2023 is understandable, the cruel irony is that a beer shortage may also be in the cards. According to ClickOrlando.com, the current aluminum shortage may reduce can production, while a lack of available carbon dioxide may impact beverage production via Axios, because most beverage cans in the United States are made of aluminum, according to Scientific American, the potential impact on a brewery's ability to pack and sell its beer in cans is obvious. However, an impending 2023 beer shortage is due to a decreased supply of carbon dioxide, which has already caused some smaller craft breweries to shift their production process as of September 2022, according to NPR. We don't expect beer to be completely depleted from liquor store shelves next year, as we do many other food shortages in 2023. However, customers who have grown accustomed to selecting from dozens of small craft beer options in recent years may be forced to settle for mass-produced options instead.